you cheeky dogs! My name's Margie and I'm an Aussie currently living in America. Today's video is going to be a breakdown of Bluey Season 1 episode Barbecue! This was definitely one of my favourite episodes from Season 1. I thought it was so much fun and I'm really excited to show you guys all of the Easter eggs and Aussie references that I found in this episode. Of course, if you are new to my channel though, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well as that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release any other Bluey content. Oh, also, if you like Bluey as much as I do, don't forget to hit the like button as well. With that being said, let's just jump straight into it with all of our Easter eggs, with the first one being the debut of Bluey's extended family. This is the first time we get to meet Uncle Stripe, Aunt Trixie, as well as Muffin and Socks as well. And there's a lot of kind of interesting things about the family from this episode. So the first one, of course, is the fact that Bob and Nana aren't there, the grandparents of Bluey and Bingo and the parents of Bandit and Stripe. However, in the Bluey book, Where's Bluey? We do actually see Grandpa Bob and Nana in this barbecue scene. So there's always like this bit of a joke that maybe this whole time Grandpa Bob has been around, but we just haven't seen him on screen. So this could be confirmation of that. Another really cool family Easter egg is the introduction of Auntie Mary and Auntie Mary's salad dressing recipe that Chili talks about. I did a bit more of a deep dive into this on my Bluey Family Tree videos. I'll leave a link up here and in the description box down below. But she's one of the characters that we have still never met on screen. She's only ever been referred to in this one episode. Now, of course, I should give a special mention to the voice actors of Aunt Trixie and Uncle Stripe. So Aunt Trixie is voiced by Mife Warhurst, who is a famous Australian TV presenter as well well as actress and radio host presenter as well. And very interesting Easter egg is the voice of Uncle Stripe is actually Dan Brum, who is the brother of the show creator, Joe Brum. But he's also the sound designer for Bluey in Ludo Studios as well. Now, some interesting regional differences, I guess, with this episode is the change of dialogue from capsicum to peppers. In Australia, we call them capsicums. Peppers for us are like the smaller, like long shaped chilies, I guess. And then chilies are like the little ones. But overseas, of course, people call them peppers. So that's the first time they actually had to change the dialogue for Bluey. We do also find out some of the kids' favorite foods and also foods that they hate. So we find out that Sock's favorite capsicum is green, Bluey's favorite is yellow capsicum, and Muffin's is the red capsicum. But we also, in case you maybe missed it, at the very end of the episode, find out that Muffin hates eggs. We can see her getting really angry because Stripe is trying to force her to eat one and she's just not having it. So that was a cute little extra detail that maybe you might have missed. Now, our next big Easter egg is the animation error with socks. Now, this has been brought up quite a few times in Reddit, so maybe you might have seen it before, but basically when the girls are running over to the edge of the deck to look down at Bingo, who's like going around with the hose, you see Socks going across the screen and she has got no face. There's a massive animation error there with no eyes, no nose, no mouth, no nothing. So that's always a really fun one to point out whenever there's those little errors. Now we should also point out here that this is our first time meeting Socks and also the first time that we're really seeing anyone in the Blueyverse act like a dog. It's always assumed that Socks acted like a dog because she was so young, but of course the episode Baby Race kind of threw this around the bush a little bit with the theories. But Socks does act like a dog by barking, sniffing, panting, growling, howling, tail wagging, and kicking her leg when she's scratched by her mum. We do of course have some other dog Easter egg references as well. One is that Bandit has had ticks on his ears as we hear Chili talking about it to Trixie. And then of course the conversation between Bandit and Stripe about sheep farming, sheep dogs, and herding basically is I guess like a reality TV show maybe or competition that's happening and that's why they're talking about it. But we do find out that there are farmers in the Blueyverse, that there are sheep dog or maybe Border Collies in the universe that work as sheep herders and that sheep of course, exist in the Blueyverse as well. Another interesting reference to animals, I guess, in the Blueyverse is bugs being sentient. So in this episode, we see Bingo picking up a little bug and it screams, and it's even subtitled with it screaming and looking directly at her with its eyes. So maybe bugs have a little bit of sentience in this universe. We also get Bingo saying the title card for this episode, which of course makes sense because the episode is mostly about her. We do also have a tennis ball Easter egg in here as well on the deck as Bingo is going over to the yellow flowers basically to pick them. We see our tennis ball Easter egg there for the one and only time. But also we have another sort of Brisbane reference with the poinciana trees. Whilst they are used as the red capsicums for this episode, poinciana trees are actually super popular in Brisbane. They were planted all around the streets in the early days of Brisbane being formed as a city. And now it's really common to see them in a lot of people's backyards as well. So I think that's a really cool Brisbane reference. We do of course have a lot of Australian food references here as well. So the barbecue itself is a 
sausage sizzle, we would also say. So the sausages they use and the bread they use is very typical of an Australian sausage sizzle. We don't use hot dog buns like Americans do. We just use a piece of bread because that's way cheaper. Put that sausage on it diagonally and throw some onions on top of it with some tomato or barbecue sauce. And you see the tomato and barbecue sauce bottles. They're also the iconic ones that you see in the Australian shape. They're not shaped like American ones. So I love that there's, again, those details of how things look in Australia in Bluey. Now we should also talk about the Australian culture of drinking beers as well. And I love that Bluey doesn't shy away from this. It is very normal for adults to have a drink at barbecues. We see this again in Spy Games as well as in Christmas as well. And I love that they just show this naturally. It's not the parents getting hammered. It's just a natural thing that they'd be having beers whilst having a barbecue. And of course, there's a lot of jokes with that as well, with Bandit losing a total of three different beers and having to use two different stubby holders, an orange and a red one. And yes, in Australia, we call them stubby holders, not cozies or koozies, like some other countries in the world. But also a funny little joke as well is that maybe Stripe, the one that he's holding, it's blue. So perhaps it's a Culture and Dry, which is a little bit more like an upper class beer out of the Forex that you would normally find in Brisbane. But it could also be maybe a joke about a Foster's beer, which overseas is seen as like a traditional Australian beer, but no one in Australia drinks that. There of course are some really cool background details as well that maybe you might have missed. The first is the dog bone on top of the chimney when we see in the background while Spingo's picking out some green capsicum. We also see the football down next to Bluey. This is the Australian Touch Rugby football with the green and yellow or green and gold colours of Australia as well. We find out in basically the next few episodes that Bandit loves to play touch football and that's why he has that football. We also see a hornet's nest in the background when we see the yellow flowers as well. Again, really stereotypical of Queensland, Australia. We have a lot of bees and hornets and those things constantly are attaching themselves to our houses. And then my other favorite one is kind of like the old school tech that they're using with the iPhone plugged into the speaker, plugged into the wall. Cause I feel like, yeah, that's what Chili and Bandit would have cause they're a little bit older. So maybe they just haven't updated their technology. Overall, I really love this episode. It's a four out of five long dogs for me. What would you guys give this out of five long dogs? I think the idea of, you know, that you should appreciate everything that mums do as well as dads do for barbecues is really pointed out in this and the fact that yeah maybe mums sometimes get a little bit underrated when it comes to these kind of things because they're not cooking like the main meal but the salads are just as important and the idea of salads does come up again in future episodes too so I love when they have like those other callbacks but in general a really cute and fun episode and I loved getting to meet Bluey's extended family as well and learn a little bit more about them which I thought was really interesting let me know though what was your favorite easter egg in the comments down below and did you spot any other easter eggs that I missed I would love to know that as well again if you didn't hit that subscribe button at the start, make sure you hit it now as well as that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release any other Bluey content. And I have picked out a few other videos that maybe you guys would like to watch until then. But I will see you cheeky dogs in another video. Mwah! Bye!